five now. Um, I woke up really happy. Um, no idea why, but woke up happy and uh, having breakfast. So breakfast was so good yesterday, I'm doing it again. So uh, this time just with pineapples. So there's yogurt under there, some of that, and, uh, and the mealworms. So I'll mix it up now. There we are. So breakfast. So I never thought I'd say this, but again, that was delicious. And I've actually started enjoying this. So I've been to Tortilla for lunch today and I've got their veggie burrito with jackfruit and veggie and guac and all that sort of jazz. And then obviously I've done this. I've opened it up sort of with a deconstruction and then filled it full of the mealworms and um, buffalo worms. So I'll wrap that back up and get that down. Well, that was really nice. Um, really enjoyed it. Never had jackfruit before, so um, tortilla did did really well. Um, the jackfruit was surprisingly like me. I wouldn't have said it. You would identify it as meat, but it seemed to be good. Now, my question is: If eating animals is so wrong, why is there a plant trying to be like an animal? And why are we eating it? Well, it's it's dinner time on day four now, and I'm going for it again with the non-meat products with these insects. And this is what I'm having tonight. So we're gonna go with the beet burgers. Um, obviously no meat in these. And um, yeah, let's see how we get on. I'm assuming these are to represent scold lines. Like a real burger? I don't know. But um, I'm gonna give these a go. Got some buns, got some cheese, got some grubs, and let's put that together. So that's the burgers under the grill, but I have no idea when they're done. They don't seem to sizzle or, obviously they don't change color like meat does. So I've no idea what is happening like and when they're due to come out. It says 10 minutes under the grill, but no idea. That's looking a bit better, isn't it? It's a bit more like a burger now. So let's get that loaded up. And there we go. Grasshopper burgers. Uh, I don't know how these will be, but they're on top. Tubby Tom's sauce, incredible if you haven't had it. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get these down. There you go, so that's the uh, the cross section. It's looking um, not too bad. Let's see how they taste. Here we go, so bearing in mind the last non-meat burger I had was horrible. Let's see how it goes with this one. That's all right. That's all right, genuinely, like taste texture wise. It's, again, it's not unpleasant. These meatless burgers or meatless meatless products, um, they're getting better. It doesn't, I'm not swapping this for a real burger, but there's nothing unpleasant about that whatsoever. Apart from maybe the um, grasshoppers in there. This is This is great, this is all right. So the actual burger is held, is held together really well. The sausages I had the other night just crumbled. There was nothing to them. But um, but this has held its um, consistency or shape or whatever. But then this isn't, I don't think this is trying to pretend to be meat um, because it's it's pretending to be a beetroot bean burger basically. And I think these work, these, these are good. Um, be interesting to see what it'd be like on a barbecue and how that comes up, but I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna continue to eat this now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed another shorter episode um, of Grubs Up. Two days left now. Um, again, please hit the subscribe button, please, 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 um, and hit the notification bell for when the new ones come through. And I'll see you soon.